Getting started with child safety and this course. At one time, protecting your children was as easy as ensuring they were in it dark, brushed their teeth, and had a delicious and healthy dinner. The world has changed throughout the years, however, and nowadays it is a much scarier place to live than we ever could have imagined 15 or 20 years ago. It seems that we live in a world where dangers lurk at every corner, especially for the harmless, helpless children that we love so dearly. Keeping your kids safe is a never-ending, tireless task, yet one that you'd go to great lengths to secure for the most precious beings in your life. From the very first day that you bring your children home from the hospital until the day that you leave this earth, protecting your kids from harm is something that you'd go to great lengths to do. Friends and family are always there to provide you with advice and guidance for child-rearing and maintaining their safety, and while their advice is always meant well and accepted, it sometimes isn't accurate, up-to-date, or something that you'd ever consider as a parent. Since there is no manual for child safety and the advice of others may not always be the best, it is up to you to ensure that you are always aware of the right ways of protecting your little ones. With this guide, you'll learn professional tips and advice for child safety. Whether you're the parent of a baby, a toddler, or a school-aged child or teenager, the information inside of this course is provided to you in an effort to help you keep the people that you love most in life safe no matter where life might take them. We'll provide you with tips and information for child safety when they're at home with the babysitter and while they ride their bike. There is safety information for babysitters and dealing with strangers. There is an abundance of safety information covered here. Everything that you need to do can be found within this course, and thanks to its easy-to-reference sections, you can come back and go through any information once again easily. Going through this course offers insight into the following child safety topics and many others. Drug use in children. We never want to think that it can happen to our children, but the staggering statistics show that drug use among children is rising. Learn what you must know to protect your kids. Babysitters and keeping your kids safe. In trusting a babysitter to watch your children, whether to enable you to the ability to work or for an occasional night out, is never easy for a parent. We'll share with you great tips and information for keeping your children safe while you are away. Bullying and your child. Bullying isn't a new problem, but it seems that things have been taken to the next level these days. Bullying occurs not only at school, but online, at school functions, and elsewhere. How can you protect your child? We'll give you the details. Protecting your child from abuse. Abuse comes in a variety of forms, none of which you want your child to experience. Protecting your child from any of the types of abuse isn't always easy, since abusers aren't masked with signs alerting anyone of their dangers. Even people we know in the media have been accused of heinous acts of abuse against children, i.e. Michael Jackson, Jared, the subway guy, causing greater difficulty in detecting abuse. Here we will discuss various methods of preventing and protecting your child against abuse. How to talk to your child about safety. When it is time to talk to children, parents sometimes find it difficult to choose the words that little ones understand. We'll share practical advice for talking to your kids about their safety at any age. How to stay safe while playing outside. Many dangers lurk beneath the confinement of the front door to the home. Dangerous insects and creatures, predators, poison, and more worries are unbeknownst to children looking forward to a day of excitement and play in the sun. Internet safety. Many parents say that protecting their kids while on the internet is one of the most difficult aspects of keeping them safe. We agree that it isn't always easy to know what your kids are up to in the virtual world, until now. How to stay safe around the house. What kind of dangers lurk around the house? Many that the eyes can see, as well as those sometimes unimaginable. We'll cover a variety of scenarios and provide tips to keep your kids safe. Strangers. Who is a stranger? Is the police officer a stranger? What about the teachers at school, or the bus driver, or even the postman? In the eyes of a child, a stranger may not be the same person as you see them to be. It is important to help your child learn stranger danger information and we'll give you a head start. School safety. Growing concerns over children's safety in school are alarming to a number of parents in wake of the numerous tragedies taking place at schools around the world. How can you send your child to school safely? The information inside of this course will help you send your little one off to learn with peace of mind and comfort in your heart. 
safety in the car, safety while on a bicycle, skateboard, or other riding devices. For a child, bicycles, scooters, skateboards, hoverboards, and similar devices bring on the excitement needed to live life to the fullest. Parents know all too well, however, that these fun toys also prevent a variety of dangers for their unsuspecting children. We'll help you keep your children safe while also allowing them to enjoy the adventures their heart desires. This course is structured in a manner that allows you to easily access information when you need it the most. While you want to go through this information from start to finish, it is easy to pinpoint details you want to recollect upon to your kids, important details, and situations that pertain to your child. When all is said and done, the purpose of this course is to inform parents to keep children of all ages safe and secure, and families thriving. Child Safety Basics The non-existent how-to manual of caring for children would be a blessing to most parents, but since it is unavailable, and would likely be of little help since all children are cut from a different loin, it is up to mothers and fathers to do what they feel best for their children, making decisions sometimes spur the moment and without idea of what is really the best solution. The best method of keeping children safe is something that parents disagree on often, but at the end of the day, what is important is that your child feels safe, secure, and confident wherever they go, thanks to your efforts of protecting them. Children look up to their parents. They trust what they say and confidently go about the day knowing mom and dad would never hurt them. It is vital that you've taught your children the proper means of safety in every facet of life because of your importance in their life. How to discuss safety with your child. Talking to your child about safety isn't always easy. Sometimes it is difficult to find the right words to say to someone so young, so innocent, and of course, who is your baby? But effective conversations are an important part of raising your child. Without these important talks on a regular basis, it is possible that your child may be unaware of the right way to stay safe should the situation arise. It is always in your best interest to talk to your children often and in a manner in which is easy to understand at the child's age. Although some of the talks about safety may be difficult, they're all important. Toddler Your toddler is capable of understanding their name as well as the name of their parent. Mom is always cute, but ensure that your child knows your real name. It is important that you teach your toddler the importance of staying near you while on an outing. There are safety leashes and other equipment that you can purchase to ensure that your child doesn't get far out of sight. Talking to your toddler about their different body parts and how their private parts are different and special to them is also important. When talking to your toddler about safety, the following points are important. Toddlers learn best when you use real-life situations to teach them. Hypothetical situations aren't always easy to comprehend for a toddler. Keep this in mind. Teach your child how to ask for help if it is needed. Teach children to trust their caregivers, but also to realize when they have an uh-oh feeling that signals that something isn't right. Use language that your toddler can comprehend and understand. Preschool. A preschool-age child should be confident in their name and address. If they cannot recite this information to you already, sit down with your child and help him or her understand. Preschool-age children should also know their telephone number. Preschool-age children should be able to comprehend a stranger from someone that they know. This is a good age to use a password or secret word so that your child knows who is and who isn't appropriate to go with. Your preschool-age child should also know better than to get into a car with anyone else. Tell your child that 911 is available and how to use it to get help from a trusted adult. Since preschool-age children are beginning to blossom in personality and play with other children, help them better understand what is and what is not acceptable when touching other kids. Also ensure that they're aware of the importance of keeping their hands to themselves. It is also important that children know that no one should touch their private parts. Preschool-age children can understand if and what if situations. Elementary-age children Creating a buddy system with elementary age children is a good idea. It is always better to do something with a friend, and it is less dangerous, too. A list of trusted people the child can call on is also beneficial. Add at least five names to this list. Help your child understand that keeping secrets from parents is unacceptable, and that if an adult asks for them to keep a secret, it is important to immediately tell an adult. Kids shouldn't ask adults to keep secrets. 
The conversation about sex is a difficult one for most parents, but also important to have, even when your kids are as young as eight or nine. When you talk to your kids about sex now, they'll have a better understanding of what is and is not appropriate with their private parts and a better understanding of their own sexuality. There are guides, books, DVDs, and videos that can assist you with this talk. Remember that your children are learning about sex from TV, books, and their peers at school, so they need the sufficient information that their parent can provide them. Helping your kids feel safe and secure and that they are able to talk to you about sex can prevent many problems now and later down the line. Middle School Children Now is the time to talk to your child about the online world and the dangers that lurk. While it is important that you teach your child about predators and the importance of not sharing too much personal information online, also remember to teach your kids that other dangers exist on the web, such as bullies and how to respond. Monitoring your child's online activities at this age is very important. Let your child know the importance of thinking before they send something online because it never really disappears. Your child is likely experiencing many changes as a middle schooler, which can cause conflicts among peers. Explain that you do understand what they are going through and stress the importance of learning to trust adults. Help your child understand the emotions that he or she is experiencing sexually and help him or her understand what it means to become sexually involved with an individual.